Sritima and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my birthday month series. Now in this video as you've read by the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks for clicking your own pictures. I know it can be sometimes really frustrating to find some other person who can click good and candid pictures for you. So wouldn't it be great if you could click your own pictures? Now I wouldn't necessarily call it self portraits because you know those are very very artistic and uh, in no way shape or form am I teaching how to click artistic or aesthetic pictures these are some tips and tricks which have helped me you know in clicking pictures which look good which are quite grammable if you will so if you want to know how you can click your own pictures without the help of anyone else then let's actually get into this video also guys I try to upload twice a week one long video and at least a short video so if you're interested in that type of content do subscribe to my channel also guys my makeup is giving me major Iago from Aladdin vibes if you know what I've done with my makeup go follow me on my Instagram the handle is here on the screen and without me blabbing much let's actually Actually, get into this video. So I didn't used to actually click my own pictures. I recently started doing that from the last year. That's because mostly my sister would click my own pictures, but she had her own hostel and she had to move away. So it left me with no option than learning how to click my own pictures. And I think it would be really helpful to someone out there who is just beginning and would like to click their own pictures as well. Now the most important aspect of a good picture is its lighting. Now you do not necessarily need all those artificial lightings like ring light or soft boxes you can absolutely use sunlight and trust me sunlight may you get the best pictures ever especially if you live in like a big house or you have windows with grills make sure you go in front of those windows and click pictures there so that you know shadows can fall on your face and it can make your picture look more aesthetically pleasing I'm gonna add a few pictures of what I'm talking about I have clicked some of my pictures in this way and trust me it looks so so good when the shadow shadow marks fall on your face it gives like a very beautiful dimension to your face but other than that filming in sunlight is so much better like you know it gives like a different definition to your picture whole together and it also adds like a crispness to your photo which is very good as well but most importantly sunlight is free for everyone so you can go to your terrace in front of a window and click really really aesthetic pictures using sunlight there's a term called golden hour which is specifically like the afternoon time and that time you can get like really amazing pictures and even right now when i'm talking to you guys i'm filming in sunlight i do not have any external ring light or anything and you can see how clear everything looks like it looks quite hd if you will so that is one big tip which i have for you guys maximize your use of sunlight as much as you can you can see this is what i was talking about how beautifully the shadows are falling on my face and you can get some really cool and aesthetic pictures like this. So I was just clicking my own self portrait and you could see that there were the grill shadow marks and they were also very beautifully falling on my face but if you can see as a upper it's not there anymore and that's because it's winter and the sun is like constantly shifting. If you're using this trick try not to do it in the winters because then there's gonna be a little problem with the golden hour and sunlight and it goes away like really quickly. Now coming to my second point which is props. Now you maybe want a little bit more drama or just that pop to your picture and the best way to do that is adding any props. It can be something so so simple as literally a tomato. You do not need something very extravagant like your waist from 1900s or like a vintage camera. You can have something very simple which is just lying around your house and you can literally use that as your prop. You can use any normal digital camera or any flowers. Oh my god, flowers are the best way to accentuate your picture. I have literally clicked pictures with strainers and mind you, it looks so beautiful. It like adds like a mesh filter to your picture. You can also use dupattas. I'm going to insert a picture right here. You can hold your dupatta against your phone screen or your camera lens. And again, it's going to look like very pretty, like a natural filter again. CDs, you can use so many things as props. It's like unbelievable. If you try, you can use literally anything and accentuate your picture even more. Now, the third thing which I want to talk about is actually posing. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm a model and posing comes very naturally to me. But I do click my own pictures and I know which profile of mine looks good, which is generally the left side. So, you'll see like most of the pictures I click, I click like this with my left side forward because I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing that way. So, there are different ways you can pose. If posing comes naturally to you, great. But if not, you need to take your time, figure out which profile of yours looks good and emphasize on making it look better. Now, you do not really need like a full face of makeup, an extravagant outfit to get like a really good picture. You can wear simple clothes and still have a really good photo shoot by yourself. Now, I have spoken about every other thing under the sun, but coming to the most important thing of how do you click your picture and the answer is the camera. Now, I do not use a DSLR or a digital camera 
camera to click my own pictures. I simply use my phone's selfie camera. If you have a DSLR or a digital camera, good for you. But for normal people, using your phone's selfie camera works just as well. Now, sometimes it may so happen that when you're clicking your pictures with your selfie camera, you may look a little too whitewashed. So one tip which I have for that is actually to focus on yourself and then just lower the brightness. You see how instantly like I just lowered the brightness focused on myself and you can see there's like a huge difference. You can see it brings out the orange of my eyes and everything. So this is one good tip which you can use. The next very important thing for clicking a picture is actually the background. Now you cannot be clicking a picture in a very messy background and expect it to look good. You do need to keep in mind what you have as your background. Having like a messy background with chairs and tables and everything it does not look very appealing. You can have like a solid background. You do not need to buy you know those background sheets and all you can use simple as a curtain like how I use or maybe you can go to your terrace and honestly clicking pictures on the terrace is literally the best thing you get the best sunlight background nature and so many things it's just like a perfect place to click pictures so make sure you have a non messy and good background so that it looks very very aesthetically pleasing now these are just my tips for clicking the pictures now you may also edit your pictures as well I personally do not edit any pictures of mine I get them edited one of my friend does that for me and I'm gonna leave her Instagram over here so you can check that out as well after clicking your pictures getting them edited is really good as well now if you want to do it yourself I have a few apps which sometimes even I use and that is Pixart and Snapseed those are the only to apps which you need for basic editing but if you want more professional level editing you can use like those adobe photoshops or just lightroom on your phone but i think for a beginner using pixart is your jam and if you want some more editing like filters or accentuating or healing you can definitely use snapseed also guys i just quickly wanted to mention one thing that uh, how are you supposed to rest your phone now i have a tripod so i can use that but if you don't you can just you know use a chair stack a pile of books and keep your phone on that but if you have a tripod well and good also you can use a selfie stick but in that case you know your hands gonna be visible that's that so guys those were my tips and tricks on how to click good pictures and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you know the drill like share and subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in my next one till then guys stay home stay safe and i love all of you guys a lot bye